welcome back to my channel, Frida Bloomer Risa. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and watching this content. I so appreciate all my subscribers and everyone that leaves me a comment. Today is going to be a little different. Today, I am going to bring you along as I'm preparing for the new school year. If you've been following me for a while, you probably guessed that I am a classroom teacher. I teach second grade in the great state of Texas, and this is going into my ninth year of teaching. It was going into my eighth year of teaching with the district that I'm at, but it's my ninth year of teaching. So that's awesome, almost 10 years. And um, so yeah, I thought I would show y'all the process of what I usually do. I know there's so many teachers out there that are getting ready right now. So many teachers are showing their step-by-step. -step. I can't promise you I'll show you step-by-step, -step, but today is actually my first day going into the classroom in a while since I taught summer school. And, um, you know, since we're allowed to go in the building now after they wax the floors, um, I thought I would go ahead and get a head start. Today is Thursday, at July, I think it's the 21st, and it's in the afternoon, so I'm having a little late start in my day, but I needed some time just to rest this morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and head into the car and let's go ahead and head to school. Okay, y'all, I made it to my classroom. And to be honest, it almost looked like it's kind of set up. There's a couple of places that, or areas that were rearranged because custodians did come in here and they did, you know, wax the floors. They did come in and do some cleaning and things like that. And I don't feel like I'm gonna need to do much dusting. So I feel good. Um, we did turn in like a timesheet, um, not a timesheet, what I'm saying. Uh, we turned in a sheet that had like what would we like the custodians to do over the summer so i put a list of things like dusting uh steam vacuuming you know stuff like that so it kind of looks like they they truly did that um which is nice because then i don't have as much stuff to do so let me show y'all what y'all been waiting for let me show you what my room looks like Okay, so here is my classroom. When you walk into the door, let me get this more wider. There we go. And um, then we walk into the door. I mean, obviously this rug right here is not gonna work because this rug needs to be in front of my smart board over there. Um, it was nice of them to lay it out like that. Maybe they laid it out to let it dry or do something like that. But um, I wish it could go somewhere like here. It's something different than what I'm used to. So, but I don't have a, a smart board over here so it wouldn't make sense to put it there but anyways I still have all my little stuff here um that I need to go through I did notice I think I'm missing a bookshelf so it could be possible that it got put in another classroom by accident so I'll have to check for that uh we still do AR here and yes I I told y'all I was ready to go. I was ready to go <laughs> last year. So I still have my AR point system with books up here, but I kind of wanted to get an idea of what I want to do this year. So I left it up there, just gave me some ideas. So I'm going to keep that up there until I'm ready to decorate. Um, obviously my whiteboard, smart board. We still got our old school TV in here. Don't judge. Uh, filing cabinets, other stuff like my um like my we do rigby read alouds rigby read alouds high frequency words spelling words vocabulary like i told you i've been teaching for a long time um well i've been teaching over five years so i have stuff kind of established story book story time books i like to read the kids chapter books i put in order what books i want to read let me show y'all this really quick i love reading to students um so, see, I already got it labeled here. I already know what I'm gonna do. So first, we're gonna do Boxcar Children. Then we're gonna do Snot Stew. Then we're gonna do Charlotte's Web. We're gonna do the one and only Ivan. And then uh, Humphrey series, because the kids really like Humphrey. They weren't really into Frindle. They would listen, like in the spring, but they, I could tell they weren't really into Frindle. Frindle's a really good book. Um, all these are good books. I wanted to read the same Arthur that did, let me show y'all, Snot Stew. So uh, the kids, they listened to the story and it was a cute story, but it, it wasn't as um, 
they weren't as engaged as they were with this one. I thought they were respectful and they were good, but I could tell they just weren't like, woohoo, let's read that again. Um, and a couple of the Humphreys series, they really like some of these Humphreys. So that's the plan right now. I would like to get more real outs, but maybe another day I'll explain to y'all my plan with that. Okay, so let's continue in the room, Risa. Okay, so here is my, I still use a easel with a whiteboard with instruction, whole group instruction at times when I want them to come to carpet. My lovely, um, what do you call this? Rocking chair. I'm just like, oh, what? Y'all, I'm just, I'm all over the place, but I'm a little like, I don't know. I'm kind of excited and kind of like, whoo. So um, it must have been that tea. I don't know. So, <laughs> so my rocking chair, what do y'all think? Y'all think I need to paint over it? You can't really see all of the imperfections in it i may just i may not paint it this year i think it looks fine it doesn't look really rough to me i mean it is, it's a little dusty so i probably will clean it that way i got a fan turned over a box of something in it i have no idea what's in it my desk i asked the custodians if they could um move my my desk because my desk was right here because i thought of all this equipment, all that kind of stuff. I do need to get a um, power strip. So I do need to get a power strip for them so we can hide all this, this stuff here. I don't like to have all that exposed. It just, it looks tacky to me. And then I love, oh man, this is great. This is gonna make my life so much easier. Um, I love to have my monitor here with my, move my stuff out of the way from home. My document camera, excuse my little friend, document camera. Um, I love that. I got my schedule, my little stuff here that I'm just going to keep up there because it just makes me smile. Um, and then over here, me, hi. <laughs> and then I have a scripture right here about peace. Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give you do I give to you, excuse me, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. And then I have my why. I don't know if you guys do this, but at our district, um, <clears throat> our principal had us do an assignment where she gave us all a why. And then you write down your reason for your why. I think this was COVID year when I did this or when we're coming back from COVID. I can't remember, but I just put it up every year. The reason why I'm here to teach for another school year is because I know there is something I can give to them, students, as an educator that will not only change their outlook on things, but will impact their lives forever. I know I'm called to do this for kids. I know I'm called to do this for kids, yeah. So, and then here's a sign. I think I got this from Target years ago, what a teacher is. Stuff I like to hide. Y'all got one of those in y'all's rooms. Y'all got like a bookshelf you don't want people to see. It's not disorganized. It's actually pretty organized. I just I just want to kind of have some privacy. Bookshelves. Um, calm down chair. This is really a calm down chair. Now, this is probably the chair I probably could have painted, but I didn't get to do that. My little supply stuff. Like I said, I'm missing a bookshelf, y'all. Like I... <laughs> I think it's in probably one of my teammates rooms. I painted it white last year and I needed to put my, uh, let me show y'all. I needed to put my, my Rigby level readers. So I need it for that. Um, so yeah. And then I have these level readers. They're kind of, um, older, but they're still effective. Cause we know as teachers, we need to make sure kids are reading, uh, daily, um, at home, so and in a classroom, of course, in small groups. But that's my room. I hope y'all really did enjoy this. Um, I'm gonna try to show some footage of me setting up in here. I still have to decide what in the world I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take some time to think about that before um, I start moving stuff around. So I will see you guys soon. Okay, I have good news. We found the bookshelf. Um, I ran into a lady that was cleaning and she um unlocked all the doors in my team's hallway because nobody's really hardly here but me and, and one other teacher and the ladies are cleaning and uh we found my bookshelf that I homemade painted myself you can definitely tell I did that so I painted it white last summer and uh this is where I'm going to put those Rigby readers on so I'll probably put that 
I don't know, over here. I'm kind of liking this table right here. I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm kind of liking it here. Um, I'm all for a change. I used to have this table right here. And then I used to have my desk, like I said, push against the wall over here. So I think this is actually, this may be, I know it was probably accidental or just not intentional, but I think this will work here. I'll move the easel over here, push this rocking chair this way, take the rug, put the rug over here, take the desk, put the desk around in this vicinity area right here. And then the rest is history. I think over here, this is usually my library area. So I probably will. I asked somebody for a bookshelf or somebody was going to bookshelf away. So I decided I reached out to them like, hey, I'll take it. So I'm going to use this bookshelf for more library books because I got more books to go through over here, have some over there and who golly knows where I have the other ones at. So I have um, I have that. This right here is where I keep my supplies. Um, you know, slips for the nurse, referrals, unfortunately, envelopes, stickers, birthday stuff, you name it. It's here. Extra supplies goes in there. If it's like folders, journals, pencils, stuff like that. I have more extra storage things. Um, I'm going to try not to complain, but you'll probably notice in my room, I don't have a lot of storage. So I have to really make do what I can do without making it look cluttered. You know what I mean? I don't like clutter. I don't like clutter in my own home. I don't like stuff just sitting on countertops or whatever in my own house. So I try to prevent that in the classroom. Plus, it just gives it more of a clean look. Um, it just makes it look more functional, not chaotic, not messy, you know. Um, so I try to make it you know, somewhat like some kind of structure in that area where it's nice and neat and tidy for the most part. And I teach the kids how to keep the room tidy as well. You have to in that first year. So that's where I'm at with that. Okay, so like I said, um, that's where I'm at. So finally, I know it's taking me a minute. I'm gonna, I feel like out of breath. <sighs> do y'all, the teachers coming back, do you always feel like you're out of shape when you come back? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But this year I just feel like, it's out of shape even though I've been exercising regularly like the most part I don't know this is weird um or maybe it's just something in the building I don't know so anyways I'm gonna rearrange the furniture try my best to move this rug by myself if I can't I'm gonna have to ask somebody to help me so I don't hurt myself um and then start decluttering probably on my desk and then I'm gonna go home I'm not gonna try not to do too much today I don't want to spend most of my few days left to summer break um stuck in the classroom for a few hours i did that for years i'm trying to do my best with self-care and balance and all that good stuff so finally let's try this again let's start
Okay, so I want to show y'all my progress so far. Um, as you see in the video, I had desk certain ways, but then I changed my mind and I switched them to a different spot. So let me show you what I'm doing now and let me show you like my thinking behind it as well. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm not for sure for sure for certain, but I'm supposed to have maybe possibly less than 16 students or 15 and less this school year. I know that's a very, very small number compared to 20 plus, 21 plus every single year since I've been teaching almost. So um, so that's why you see the arrangement the way it is. So I have groups of four here. And the thing is, y'all, I don't like for students' backs to be turned from this smart board here. You know, if I'm doing some teaching up here, I don't want those kids to have to turn around. But unfortunately, there are some kids that may have to turn around, but they're my kids that I feel like it won't, um, it'll be okay, you know? Um, so here's groups of three, group of three, group of five. I do have extra desk, extra desks right there as well because I'm supposed to have a smaller number this year. We'll see. Um, we're not done with registration yet. We still have registration going on. But um, <clears throat> I went ahead and I laid out the carpet. Like I told y'all before, the carpet needs to be like right here where the kids are sitting and they're facing the smart board that way. Uh, whenever I'm showing videos, instruction time, whatever I'm doing down here on the carpet just makes things easier. Also, when I'm doing my read alouds, I'm sitting here. They can face this way. If I'm doing something whole group here, I can put up here. They can sit here on the carpet and still see what's happening here. So I do a number of methods when I'm teaching um, to what, it just depends on the class. And you'll get a feel of your class that first day of school, most of the time, if not the first week of school, um, you'll get a feel of how the group is gonna be. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else? Um, I don't know, y'all. I'm just kind of picking and choosing things to do at this point. I, I accomplished that goal. I think I'm going to get rid of this big table. You remember I told y'all I was thinking about um, keeping it, but I think I may get rid of this big table um, instead. And I'm going to probably use for instruction time, if y'all can see this this table right here instead and it's a pretty good size it's hard to tell now but it's a pretty good size I'm gonna put it over here for small groups I did get some little stools put them around the table and I like this the way it'll be right here by the window I can have my guided readers there guided readers over here other small group things I need on the table easily accessible right here so I think that'll work out perfectly Whenever you're laying out your room, you do wanna make sure kids, all kids have room to move around comfortably. Over here is gonna be the library area. I know it doesn't look much now, but <laughs> um, this is gonna be the, the library area. Um, <clears throat> kids can access books here whenever we get ready for that. I didn't get to show y'all, here's a word wall. The plan is I'm gonna keep that up there and kinda of spruce it up a little bit and then Last year's theme, our school has a theme. So last year's theme was um, like movie star, red carpet type thing. So that's why the colors are like that. I'm probably gonna leave in about 30 minutes. Um, I just kind of feel like, I don't know. It's always like this on the first day. On the first day, I'm not like super, super like hardcore motivated to work, you know, but I'm a very thorough person. That means I work a little bit slower than I think some people because I'm very particular and I take my time and nothing wrong with that at all, but it's still summer break. I don't, I'm not supposed to come back until really August 4th. Today is July 21st, so I'm really good on time. <laughs> and there's some things I could be doing at home too that I will enjoy doing in front of TV if I'm just being totally honest. Um, but it was nice coming in today to do a couple of these things. Like I said, I'm gonna stay for probably another 30 minutes the most, and then I'm gonna head out and go home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this classroom setup. Um, I hope that you got some kind of a fresh new idea of how teachers do things, 
how they set things up. I, I don't know, I've never done a video like this before, so I hope it was very much beneficial to you and helpful to you. I didn't wanna make this video long at all, but hopefully you'll stick around and I'll try to upload other videos, new other videos with you um, in the future. But have a great day. If you're a teacher, have a great school year and enjoy your break as long as you can. Don't try to rush back. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.